I include that. So moving on to any other issues I had on on Article Eight, uh, which is on page six under G, public comment on agenda items. The The third line in additional time may be extended by the board president. I, I think that should be time may be extended or reduced as deemed necessary by the board president. As as Rosenberg rules uh, allows. And if we can also include that under item H, where it's uh, essentially repeated under public comment on items not on the agenda. I think you need to and study those then numbers. under under Article Ten, um, item E, communication channels regarding the social regarding the reference to social media. I think as we saw with this last month regarding excessive misinformation that was put out on Nextdoor after our last meeting, I think it's important that we have some way for information to be clarified. What, what in this last case, what I did regarding, regarding the situation being board president, spokesperson for the board, um, I corrected the information with, with an account of factual information uh, along with what what has occurred in prior board meetings. So if if we're okay with that being included, I'd like for for that to be the, the means to handle that um, issue regarding so social media. I, I really think that going through the district manager is the most advisable uh, way, even according to our training. Well, so the training that we received on that specific issue, we actually have district, we have response from district council because there was a, a, a Brown Act complaint filed when I clarified information regarding measures H and I. And what, and the communication that we received from district council was as long as you are posting factual information that has previously been disclosed at, at prior board meetings, then you're not you're not operating outside the Brown Act. And I would I would also I would like for the district manager to to essentially take up that responsibility. However, I know it's unrealistic for them to to take on that additional load. Um, again, I'm going to counter that by virtue of being part of the um, social media platform, um, you would have to be really careful and use nouns and verbs. So, and and I don't think that's impossible to do. You know, <laughs> I think again, if, if it's if if something's put out there and it's not corrected. Then that misinformation eventually. There's a lot of stuff out there. <laughs> well, there's really only. There's a lot of nonsense. Thank you. What it is. Well, and, but there's really only so much that actually comes up regarding our district issues. I don't think it's significant or excessive, but again, I, I, I don't, I don't approve of essentially us being silent. bound to, to needing to be silent. In in. It's it's a it's a delicate right balance. You know, of uh, engagement on social media platforms and then being accused of brown brown violation because well, you are engaging on. Um, and what I could, well, and, and again, that's the clarification that we already have received from from county council well, on that issue on in terms. that particular thing that at the training he went to, I thought it was pretty clear where he was like, "That's a really gray zone about social media. That it's really like the laws haven't been tested and fleshed out that much." And I, I think I would advise caution and conservatism on this issue just because we don't want to find ourselves on the wrong side of, of, of any of it, right? I don't, I don't know. I, 
Well, and so what we can also include in there is that anything that is responded responded out to either by either by the president or an appointee that or a volunteer or nominee amongst the board is that communication is vetted in conjunction with the district manager before being. Yeah, I could almost do by hiring like a PR firm or something, like having a nominee. With, with what money? <laughs> well, if you're somebody in the community and not having to be a board member. May I, may I make a couple of comments? I, yeah. I think Stephen, Stephen, we are not in public comment on this issue. Okay, great. Thank you. I would like to make a public comment yes. on the program. So, uh, you know, I, I don't necessarily have an issue with it being a PR person. Again, it's just a matter of if there's someone who is willing to volunteer that time and who can understand the, okay. the ins and outs of, of, I, the, I, of the issue. I think our time as board members can be better spent by actually um, um, addressing real issues rather than um, engaging in uh, so then, banter. You know, I just, uh, and I'm not saying. Oh, um, so, I, I really think that a statement from a district manager saying, you know, please look at the notes of the meeting or please look at the financial statements will serve everybody much more than um, you having to police yourself when you reply to a statement. Well, so Eric, do you feel that you would like to take on that responsibility then to... <laughs> I'm responding for it. And <laughs> I, I think that I've been very uh, particular about when I have posted on to next door in the capacity of the district manager. Uh, I, I, I think the public's business is meant to be discussed in the public setting, and I don't think that personally uh, next door is a public setting. I don't think everybody is a part of next door. I, I Nothing frustrates me more, I will be honest with you, when I see things that I blatantly do not believe are true or misrepresented or miss pieces of information on next door. Uh, with that said, I'm very cautious about it in certain ways. I do think eventually it will be more clearly defined in law. It, uh, I think it is a potentially, I think it's a potential rabbit hole, personally. Uh, that's just me. I definitely find it frustrating, again, when I see things that I think are misinformation or, uh, uh, but with that said, I don't, uh, I, 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 I think it would be encouraging to, if anything, to Isabella's point, quite honestly, uh, you know, please refer to minutes that are on here or please. Uh, but are you, are you then willing to Respond that you know when when issues come up. Um, yeah, I mean if that's the direction from the board, and I'm willing to do that. You know, I, I I think you know all of that. I don't know. I you know I think it's a it's an area that is just so right. So to that to the point that you're that you're making, and again, since it, it seems more like that at some eventual point. Legislation or or clarification on this will. I would assume. Down. I would assume. I, I don't think. Here is what I think. Uh, I don't think it's regular practice for government agencies to be engaging on areas like next door. I, I think social media they have that practice because maybe they have a Facebook page or uh, something. I don't see a lot of that coming from any other government agency in, say, a next door setting. Um, I, I think I think it's a conundrum, but I do think that this is the place where those things should be discussed, yet, you know. That's but, uh, part of the issue. You know, nobody else shows. I think, you know, referring people to a meeting or whatever is good. I, I you know, I just, I, I think interaction with the public is good. Um, I do think, you know, it presents Challenges. I think the more we do it, the more we will get challenged. I think you know to that point. I agree with Isabella in that you know the opinion of uh, 
not just our council, but plenty of other councils is to not do it um, and just avoid any of that use and ideally don't read it because it can be frustrating or whatever. But, you know, for the same aspect, it's, uh, you got to look at both sides of the fence. If somebody's putting up the right stuff, does the district go on there and say, yes, this is correct information? Or is it strictly a matter of trying to correct misinformation? I just, I, I think it's a little bit of Pandora's box. I think it's a can of worms that once you open, it's going to be very hard to put those worms back in the can. So, Jeff, go ahead. It's 10 o'clock. We have the full agenda. I'd like us to move on. We have a good comment. The last, last thing I'll say about it then is that since, since it's completely it's ambiguous in terms of, of the laws around it and or how to handle it, I would prefer that there's no reference to this under, under this under communication channels or specifically speaking to it until, and, and we just essentially defer to once there is a, a, a clear definition from either legislature or yeah. Well, and in just request, I would also say when you get to a point uh, that you're comfortable, I'm going to send this entire document to council for review, and they will certainly provide feedback on every point of it. Too. So it would be interesting to see what they say at that point in time. Too. But I think we definitely. I mean, I, whatever the content is, I think we need to address social media. I mean, it's come up so many times before in the past. I mean, I think it would be unwise to not have it be in here whether or not we agree, whether or not we defer to county council and say, hey, what are other people using, you know, or do some more homework on it. But I don't think ignoring it or taking it out is to be wise, just because it's there. I mean, it's okay that it's there and it's not totally clarified, but we you know, should have, should flush it out a little more. Well, then I guess we can just try to, to just keep working on it. But again, I, I think it's a, a detriment to essentially I, I, I think you're, yeah, I think your major point, and I think it's uh, another good point, is that uh, you know the county council will probably um, so um, pick up if, if that's potentially a concern. So I know was that, was that communication not shared with? I don't think it was with this existing board. If if that's okay, you and I can find it, and then we can share it with the rest of the board. Sure. Okay. Um, my only other last. Uh, item on on the bylaws under Ar Article 16 under violations. Mm -hmm. I know the previously last time it had a third step regarding the public in uh, public's ability to file a complaint with the DA. Is there a reason why that was taken off? Or um, yes, because. Um the public's right to uh, file a complaint with the DA lies within uh, the Brown Act, um, and this would be more within Just the within board. The okay. Okay. All right, then I, I think that's it for me for right now. Can I make a comment on the social media? We okay. already had public comment on this issue. Okay. If, if well, you like, if you don't you can, want to talk if you, with the public, that's Stephen, fine. If you, if you'd like, you can. We, this will continue to be on our agenda, and you okay. can address it at, at I, public comment. You can't at use it as an official. Moving medium. on to period item I three.